Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play GTA 5. Alright, so now let's continue more of the story. Where you at, man? Your house is empty. Oh, hey, I had to kind of lay low for a while. Yeah, that nice Mexican we met. Me and T did that job for her, and we fell out. You gotta be joking. I wish I was. So where you at now? <sighs> Desert? Out by Alamo Sea? All right, well, I'll hit you if I find anything. Absolutely. Uh, oh, hey. Trevor's got his wife. Trevor's got a wife? No, no, the Mexican's wife. What? <laughs> Shit, I don't know what to say about that one. Nothing. Nothing to say about that. Run! Run! I'm back! Heavy Trevor! And bring me my coffee, I'm gonna cut your arm off. Absolutely! Who the hell's that, your maid? Oh, business partner. Good guy. Very loyal. Ron, Ron, that is Michael. And this is Patricia. <laughs> ah, listen, beautiful. You know, I'm sorry about everything that's happened, and that, you know, I can't guarantee no harm's gonna come to you. I might have to chop you up into little pieces before spraying your pulp nest down the drain, but I really hope it doesn't come to that. I appreciate your honesty. You are a good man. I can see that. You need your eyes examined, then. Ron, you miss me? Yeah, Trevor, a bit, I mean. How's the fucking business? Uh, I, I tried. If you're gonna give me a sob story, I'm gonna rip your fucking throat out and shove a turd down the hole. It's not a sob story. It's just not quite come good yet. But I heard about something to do with Merriweather. Mm, those assholes. Big yeah. cache of weapons they got coming in. So I thought you might want to uh, requisition it. Fantastic. Let's go. Hey, man. Whoa, no, 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 not you. Sit down. You're a wanted man. Stay low. Now watch her, okay? She's a good lady. Let's go, Ron. Good to meet you, Michael. Fucking come on, let's go. The weapons are coming in by air. We've got a plane over at the airstrip. By All right, let's go. Looks like we got to deal with Mary Wilson again. What are you going to do? We're not. Gonna take out a private army on the ground, Ron. We gotta meet him in the air. I, uh, well, uh, okay. Well, I knew that you were pissed after the Merriweather heist. Giving back the hardware. I just hope that broke your goddamn neck. Giving back the hardware. That was bullshit. Right, right. So I've been monitoring chatter, tapping into Merriweather networks. Feels good to be back in the company of a professional. I gotta say, I got it. I was expecting something a little more impressive. The late, great Michael Townley. Not so late. Oh my god. And not so great, right? And no longer called Townley. The years have not been terribly kind. What's the end game, man? We had a good thing going without him. If it's such a good thing, Where's my money, huh? Where's my consultancy and my big fat dividend? I want a franchise network, Ron. Just the plane I need to take on a heavily armed, tax funded militia. Call our guys south of the border. Tell them there's a fire sale. I'll get you on the CV. Oh, God, it's going to be hard to see. <laughs> Are you taking off? Yes, I am. Come in. The Merriweather plane's in a holding pattern over Mount Chiliad. Try and keep under the radar. Air traffic being monitored from the military base. You've got to defend, man. 
Fuck. Be careful. Gotta wait until we can fucking go up. Oh god. Gotta make sure I don't hear anything either. I can't go any fucking lower or else I'm gonna crash. So, uh, screw you, Han. <laughs> I can't go any lower, I'm gonna fucking crash! God, we so good to go through this, this, to this, but no. Should we almost to the point where I can fucking where, where I can fucking go up there? Great. Shit! Oh 
Holy shit. <laughs> Fuck. I'm almost at great. I almost have no health. Get my health back anytime soon. Ugh. Oh. Now, who's gonna fly this thing? Oh god, am I gonna defy fly this first person? Oh, that shit's great. Please be advised of a change of destination. We are now landing at Mackenzie Field. Oh, this is just great. <laughs> Frequency over. Ronnie, the cargo jet is now part of the TP Enterprise fleet. You with the Mac? We are here, T. Awaiting your arrival. Looks like a problem. Attention, Mary Weather Jack. We are under orders to escort you to base. Change. No, it's good. I'll just do this. <laughs> Oh shit. It's gonna be so bad, I just know it! Oh my god! Oh my god! I can't! I can't! I can't! I wish you could see where I was going! I can't! Oh my god! This is gonna suck. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> Come on, get over there! Get on the load! That's not gonna happen. I tried to freaking, I tried to freaking use a vehicle, but I always freaking land the same spot. So I don't think it's possible. Or well, it is, it's fucking hard as hell. Oh, 
That didn't go out well. Ah, well, at least the machine's done. Well, there's that, I guess. <sighs> Trevor! Shit, are you okay? I saw the plane go down. I survived, and Lizard Army didn't do so well, so that's something. Ah, oh, thank God. The fuselage went into the Alamo Sea. You might be able to salvage the hardware with dive gear or something. Ah, oh, good idea. But it'll take time. Tell Oscar he ain't getting these guns. Okay. Look, I gotta ask. Are you in with the federal government? An agent, Sanchez, was round here saying you and Michael had to meet his supervisors at the garage, the cook site. Fuck, I gotta do this, okay? But I'm using them, all right? They, they ain't using me. Let's make that clear. That's gonna go up here. I think this is gonna involve a... Uh, kind of a setup for the next heist. Oh, yep. Here we go. Nice place. Let's set up for the third heist. Yeah, it's easy to mark, isn't it, huh? Cheap and fucking easy. But uh, this, this here is my place. And my work paid for my place. All right, relax. I was just being sarcastic. Yeah, well, don't be, all right? Because the world doesn't need any more sarcasm. It's the blight of the age. Yeah, I get the point. You, you don't get the point. You're like every other <clears> person. <throat> you made a bit of money, and you became a turd. I got news for you. I was always a turd. No! You weren't, man. You were something. But now, man, you know, you're like this the place. You're a shell. Go fuck yourself. Are you some kind of pure, morally justifiable asshole? What, because you're, you're, you're totally psychotic, somehow it's okay? I'm honest, all right? You're the hypocrite. Oh, yeah, you're a fucking hero. So far above it all. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm not above ripping open your fucking chest to see what's replaced your heart. Rip it open. Yeah. See what's there, baby, because I'm ready. Hello? Oh, ladies, ladies, what's up? Fuck off! Listen, I'm sorry, but we've got a problem. Government funding thing. We need you to uh, uh, investigate a research lab upstate. It's about terrorism, the big one, nerve gas, biological terror. Thank God I don't pay tax. Uh, listen, you'll need some fairly standard gear. A boat, tandem rotor heavy lift helicopter, truck, Weapons. You'll have to source all of that. <laughs> Chopper alone will set you back a couple of mil. Oh, no worries there. Trevor here, he just came in through a lot of money. Is that sarcasm? Oh, you're fucking A right at sarcasm. You fuck. A few weeks ago, I was happily retired, sulking by my swimming pool. And my psychotic best friend shows up out of nowhere to torture me over mistakes I made. Honest mistakes I made over a decade ago. We, our little posse, are flat fucking broke. But hey, let's go out and spend two million dollars on a tandem rotor fucking chopper so I can go steal nerve gas from fucking terrorists. Forgive me, you ignorant fuck. But sarcasm is all I fucking got. Sarcasm and a room full of you cunts. Yes. Woo. Welcome back, man. It is the old you. Yeah, 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 well, we gotta go. It's been great, but Dave here's got a Pilates class. Now, remember, ladies, you keep us way out of this thing. Bye-bye. Yeah, fuck off. Ah, oh, Jesus. All right, I'll give Lester a fucking call. He said he knew about something. Now, you tell him that we're driving towards Polito Bay. Come on, you're driving us up to the bank. So here we go. Set up for the third heist. After this heist, we'll only have two more big heists in the game. Job. But 
before the jewel store, you talked about a score, a, a bank in the sticks. I need you to meet us there. Polito Bay, right? That's the one. I'll get on a bus. All right, Lester's meeting us there. Don't start. I won't. No way. <coughs> Good call. If you're taking down a bank for a few million, first thing you do is call the hospital and tell them to get you a guy in a wheelchair. Oh, this Hayseed Bank, you gonna be carrying that kind of change? Local law enforcement extort money from all the weed farms, whorehouses, meth kitchens in the area. They keep their cash in safe deposit boxes. Then there's all the normal small town payroll stuff. We should do well. You know, I've been thinking about you, Trevor. Your lifestyle. Oh, have you? Really? Yes, I have. People always try to label you. You know? Maniac, psycho, friend, industry leader. Well, in some ways, you defy categorization. But then, what? Think about it. Where you live. Sandy Shores, you precious ass. I'm sorry there ain't a place nearby for you to get your colonics. Right, but why are you out here? It's off the grid. We're away from it all. It's somewhere real and authentic. This is America! And real people ain't been priced out yet. Yeah, well, what if it gets gentrified? Then I'll fucking move. Okay. What about the way you dress? What about it? I don't give a shit what I wear. No, no, no. If you don't give a shit, you wear clean clothes that fit. So yours are all a little out there, you know, a little wacky. Whatever's in the shop is what I get. Jesus, what, what is this? It's not an absence of taste, Key. It's the opposite of taste. You should be a stylist. And then there's the tattoos, the hair, the weird music, the funny toys, the niche drugs, the end. What the fuck are we talking about? You are a hipster. What? You're a hipster. I hate hipsters. Classic hipster denial. I abhor hipsters. I eat them for fun. <laughs> hipsters love saying they hate hipsters. What I really fucking do? Self-hatred. Common hipster affliction. Be because I'm living out here away from the bean machines and the bankers. You're gentrifying. What, soon, the skinny jeans will show up, then the skinny lattes, and then the bankers. And you'll be somewhere else. The bus stops up here. All right. How long does it take us to get out here from LS? Come on, man, knock it off. What? Yeah. I'm gonna break your fucking fingers, you don't knock that shit off. Well, please, all right? You'd alleviate the boredom. Ah, finally. Hey. 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 Welcome to paradise. Come on, the car's this way. Dry out here. Don't worry, brother. Mark will take care of all your moisturizing needs. Mm. Oh. Shall we? Might as well get started. <sighs> okay, let's take a look at this bank. I will go to the front of the bank, clock the entrance. If the paperwork's correct, the alarm will be a relic. We should be in and out before the local PD knows what's happening. <laughs> the entrance to the bank. Nothing special. Uh, take us around back. Okay. Oh my god. There's an empty lot behind us. No one should pay attention to us back there. I like it. Yeah, the place is remote. It's got the right amount of foot traffic. This'll do. Hmm. It's not ideal. It's gonna cost more to break that system than the score is gonna pay. I mean, we're gonna have to find a new score. No, 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 uh-uh, no, no. This is the score. Right? What are our options? It's a dumb idea, but we could trigger the alarm, see what kind of response they throw out. That is a dumb idea. Hey, you heard the man, all right? 
Shoot the sucker. Uh, I think it's... Yep, there we go. Okay, I brought my police scanner. Now drive over to the gas station opposite the bank, and we'll monitor chatter. All right. This is Toledo Base Security Services Frequency. We have a code 30 Adam. Alarm going off at Blaine County Savings Bank. All cars in the area, please respond. Toledo cars 3, 6, 9, and 1 will be there in 50 seconds. Roger that. Four units. Backup team at station is available. Uh, they've dispatched four cars in 60 seconds and more on standby. And it isn't even 30 Victor or shots fired. Oh, this is a real headache. What do you got on the clock? 40 seconds. This is Toledo Security. Any updates on the Code 30 Adam? Backup ready to mobilize. This is not normal. The response is out of proportion. Cops in this county are dirty. And the alarm just went off on their piggy bank. This is them. What is that, a 67 second response time? Yeah, four cars, more in the wings. Bad cops, garden dirty money, fuck how many, we can take this. Wait right here. We'll see if anything about their routine suggests a weakness. Polito Radio, this is Polito Car 3. We have a code 12, false alarm, possibly triggered intentionally. Roger that. We're gonna set up checkpoints on the Great Ocean Highway and the Sonora Freeway. Searches <coughs> and records checks. Checkpoints? Searches? Fuck this! I ain't getting caught because Lester needs a wheelchair. Hey! Wheelchair or not, we're still faster than your ass! Well, I'm not gonna outrun a cop. We've gotta go. We're going. And if we're in front of Trevor, he'll be the one running from the cops. Oh, no, I, oh crap! I don't know. This is a. Uh, I don't think we got. I don't think we got beat him. I shouldn't have come. I should have known. We're fine. We're gonna get out of here. Trevor Phillips. Of course, this would turn into a car chase. We're not being chased. Not yet. Not at all. Look, take a deep breath. We're gonna be fine. We just gotta get back to Trevor's office. When Trevor says office, he really means. Get off the road up here. This must be Trevor's route through the mountains. Uh, dirt track. Might get bumpy. A burnout gas station by the Alamo Sea? I've seen the title of ownership, and judging by the glassware he ordered a year ago, I'm guessing it's a meth lab. A meth lab! <laughs> Perfect! Laboratory. What the fuck, Trevor? It's more of a shithole. Where meth is made. Great! Nothing like a pharmaceutical bakery to prep the perfect stick-up job. Don't worry! It's gonna be fine! Look, you had any ideas about the bank? Are you sure we can't disable the alarm? The alarm is a UXVF-111 classification. Minute-long relay interval, third-party verification, multiple monitoring centers. Sure, I can disable it. But? But it'll cost more than the job is worth. Of course it will. So, what do we do? We walk away. It's not like we need the money. Uh, about that. Looks like the road takes a dip and a turn after that bridge. Slow down. You've been day trading? No, God no. I mean, yeah, 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 I've been trading, but no, that's not why we need the money. Then why do you need the money? <laughs> All right, so, there's this research laboratory on the coast. The IAA are using it manufacture a poison gas that they're going to release on U.S. soil in order to hope that the government increases their funding. Well, that sounds idiotically improbable enough to be possible, but what's it got to do with you and Trevor sticking up the Blaine County savings and loan? Agent Steve Haynes needs two million plus to finance a raid on the land. And guess who's doing the raid? And guess who's paying for it? Ah, I see. Yeah, well, I don't really see. But I'm doing it. And it sounds like Trevor would hit this bank for candy and a pat on the head. Now tell me, can we do it or do we move on? Now you can do it, but you can't do it clean. How messy are we talking? Taking the cops head on, messy. Well, they are dirty cops. That's what Trevor says. So do you think we can do it? Do you think we can do it? Guys out here aren't trained like the LSPD. They aren't going to be prepared for a well-armed, well-drilled team coming straight for them. Yeah, well, we... Shit! 
We need an edge. Something to tip the odds in our favor. Yeah, I got a couple ideas. <laughs> All right. What the hell, Tom? Please don't tell me I actually have to feed him to fucking beat the mission. That'd be stupid. Trevor beat us here. Yeah, well, at least we weren't arrested. Damn. Jesus, what took you so long? I was literally behind you. What are you talking about? What took you so so long? I was literally behind him. What is he talking about? <laughs> Set up a board over here. Oh. Michael, man, your blood sugars are low. I'm making you some leftovers. I'm fine, T. Huh? No, I'm the host, man. You know, I don't want you to get hungry and moody, all right? Then you're going to be making the wrong decisions. Man, I've been making wrong decisions my whole life. That's how I ended up here. There you go. Bon appetito. Jesus Christ, Trevor, what is that? What's wrong with you? That's just a, a what? An eyelid. That's probably not even human. Unless that gas station job. Gentlemen, some plans for your attention? Oh, good. I'm going to stay here a minute longer than I have to. So I think our little uh, experiment showed that the response will be too quick to beat and too strong to walk through. That means you got to face the cops head on. Dirty cops. Uh, the dirty cops head on. Head on. Man, I don't know. Well, you'll be prepared. Convoys carrying military-grade hardware pass near here to get to Fort Zancudo. I propose hijacking one and using the equipment to get an edge on the locals. I can get you the exact details of the shipment as soon as we're done here. Anyway, you won't be outside the bank too long. <coughs> Lee's Bay is, well, it's a bay. So you're a street away from the water where Franklin can be waiting in a boat to get you out of there. I know none of this is ideal, but it's the only way I can see of taking the score and providing for your FIB paymasters. Fine. We need personnel? Just a gunman. He'll be taking on the cops with you, so my advice? Choose someone good. Ah, uh, think about my buddy's chef, okay? Consummate professional. Yeah, let's get chef on board. Really the guy you want? Yes. That should do. I'll get the equipment together. Michael, you reach out to Franklin. Trevor, mm. you do what you do. Roger that. I'll call you when we're ready to move on this. Mm, you want to bunk with us? I mean, it's going to be tight, but, you know, me casa, su casa. I'll get a motel, thanks. Well, suit yourself. Fine, I'll give you a ride. Adios, amigos. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Weird. Well, Franklin, buddy, what's up? Hey, look, there's these redneck dudes been looking for you, homie. Some angry motherfuckers. I found where they stay, man, and I've been following them. Okay. Well, it's got to be the O'Neill brothers. <laughs> What's left of them? I'll pick up Michael, and we'll come to you. T, hey, man. Hey, Jimmy, it's your dad. Listen, if you get this, can you give me a ring? Tell your mom too, will ya? And Tracy. Please, son. Daddy's been a bad boy. Uh, please, son. <laughs> Sniff. The fuck is wrong with you? Oh. <laughs> now, see, the way I see it, this country was built by and for gasoline. So I'm just trying to prove my patriotic duty by, you know, doing the stuff. Oh, man. It's cheap, but it's good. Gasolina? No. <laughs> wow. Sorry, Mrs. M. Jesus. Mikey, you want a beer? Oh, shit, I'm sorry I don't have any low car. Oh, fuck you. Uh, where'd you two go when you went out, you and your boyfriend? Why do you care? I don't care. 
<coughs> conversation. Well, I was out putting some people in their place. Ah, you know, there's more to this gig than just going crazy all the time, killing everyone in sight. Just because I like the life and you feel guilty about it doesn't make you more of a man than me. And you know what? Deep down, I know you believe the bullshit, the picket fences, the fucking happy endings, and your street philosopher bullshit. That's gotten you real far. Oh, yeah. You've achieved perfect balance. Balance? <laughs> you gone. Man, ten years in the sun, your brain is melted. You, you say words that have no meaning. What is balance, huh? Huh? But I fucking kill only on the weekends. So Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I'm doing yoga and meditation. Tuesdays and Thursdays, hookers and sticking up joints, huh? You call me mad? Fuck, compared to you, I'm the sanest motherfucker I know. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh. sane, 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 oh, okay. sane. I am so fucking sane that I should open a fucking mental health clinic. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, fuck, now you're gonna stop being an asshole? I don't know, but I'll try. Well, that, I like your honesty. I uh, spoke to Franklin. Why? Unlike you, he hears that his homie's having trouble, right? And he has no problem coming to help. So you're ensuring that we lie low? Out here? By calling LS and inviting a known accomplice of ours? You know to what? come out here, what, for a little visit? That is so fucking typical of you. So typical. You don't even ask about the trouble. You instantly think about yourself. You're right. I did do that. Apologize. It's not good enough. I'm leaving, all right? I might die. I hope you're happy. Right. Hey, I'm coming with you. No. Yes, I am. No. With nothing else to be given. <coughs> you're not going. Have fun, boys. Oh, I'm going. Make sure you don't, don't stay out too late. What is Franklin doing for you anyway? Fuck. Tailing some guys, Mikey. Tailing. Well, let's go to Franklin and see uh see what he what he's doing. If he's back in Sandy Shores, why didn't I hear about it? God damn it! Shit! They see us, man. We gotta stay on. That's right, Chop. We're gonna fuck him up as soon as Trevor get here. Hey, man, me and Chop on these bunks. We're coming up to WH, north of Chew Miles. All right, all right, the O'Neill brothers are coming to us. I think they was about to send one of them anti-tank rockers into your best Pucci condo. Well, one of your roomies told them that you was gone. Okay, so, if you're on the WH, that means you'll be coming through Ratton Canyon, right? Shit, I guess. Good. Me and MT are gonna take the company chopper and meet you there. Company Fuck. chopper, yes, Michael, it's a tax write-off. Frank, you still there? Yeah, I'm just about holding on to the road. We're taking the chopper and we'll head you off. Deal with these business... Fuck. Me and MT are gonna take the company chopper and meet you there. Company chopper, yes, Michael, it's a tax write-off. Frank, you still there? Yeah, I'm just about holding on to the road. We're taking a chopper and we'll head you off. Deal with these business stealing pricks on the road. Hey, dog, can you, like, get on it? Because these dudes is rolling hard. We're five minutes out from the chopper. All right. Shit. Elk in the road! Oh, fuck! Oof. Roll on this fool, chop. Do it. Oh, shit. <coughs> Trevor, man, shit. You there? There was a deer in the road, man. These motherfuckers crashed out. They crashed. They dead? No, nah, they gone. They ran into the fucking woods, man. I need air support like right fucking <coughs> now. Oh. Don't worry. Incoming.
Oh my! Hey. Jesus Christ! Coming. Man, you're all business. Yeah, well, this is kind of important. These men don't like me, and they know we're back in the sandy shore. So here she is, the Biz Alley. Remember, she ain't mine. She's the company's. Here we go. Look, why do these guys, the O'Neills, want you dead anyway? There was a deal. Contract to end all contracts. Serious multinational stuff. I was this close, and they stole it off me. Oh, oh, hold up. If they stole your business, why do they want you dead? Wow, what's with all the questions? Can't you just take my side for once? Hey, I'm coming along for the ride, ain't I? Yeah, but I sense your heart ain't in it. Yeah, I'm lucky my heart ain't in a pie on your kitchen table. Always with the quips. You're such a depressing cynic. Oh, poor Trevor. I'm sorry I'm a human being with thoughts and feelings and emotions. Wait a second. I remember this chopper. We used this to break into the IAA building. You stole it from the FIB? Them hick dudes in the woods. That model's fitted with a thermal scope. Look for their heat signatures. Check the river. They might be trying to float out of here. Oh, there's a guy in the creek over here. I got him. Not this time, Padno. We ain't found him yet. Uh -huh. Unless you started walking on two legs, you want to show mercy to the last of these innocents? They're going to be heading to higher ground. Check the hill. Move your aim to the left a bit. I think there's someone there. There's the new golden child. Uh... Let's do it. Stand right, I think I see someone. Oh, that's what I He's behind the rock. I can't get a shot. It's on you, homie. You know what they smell like. We'll find him. You swimming? I am too. Fuck. This water is cold as a motherfucker. Ugh. Come on. Let's chop.
crap. Don't it feel good, huh? Helping a <sighs> Come on, chop. Come on. Oh yeah. Taking out some hillbilly crank dealers on the blood feud. That's what I live for. Hey, Trev, man, we're gonna borrow this and head back to town. Sure. Come on, Michael, man. I'll drop your ass off on the way back. Chop, get in. See you back in Castle Phillips, Mike. Yeah, thanks for the warning. Alright, so next time let's play GTA 5. We'll continue doing some more missions and hopefully start on the third heist.